away. There's the rush of putting it up, and then usually it makes me laugh when I walk away from it. Because <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous most of the time. But yeah, it's fun. I mean, the, the act of putting it up, that goes back to, you know, doing graffiti as a kid. And then even when I was doing posters, that's what I loved about it, is I was still able to kind of create work and, and put it out there and share it with people. But the uh, the act of putting it up is, is, is fun and it's a rush, but then also to kind of see the context of where where the piece is living. I mean, I like to think out where I'm, I'm putting a piece because I, you know, I think the the context of where the work is can can change uh, you know the mood or the the look of the piece a lot, especially on the street. Vamos! Really, it just lands into a genre of pieces that are made uh, on paper and put up with paste. It's not about me. Uh, one of the things I've always loved about being an artist, I mean, whether, you know, just a painter or a street artist, is uh, that I don't really have to be attached to it. The nice thing about painting, and that's always kind of turned me on to art, is the fact that you create something and then people can enjoy it, and you don't have to be there to see what happens, and you don't have to talk to anybody about it. So that's, uh, that's an aspect of it that I really like, that it's really, it's not about me, it's about the work. At the time I was living in an old sewing factory in Bushwick and uh, there was gangs of cats on either side of our building that really didn't mix, but they had their own little gangs. There was always kittens, and I always grew up with a bunch of cats in the house, so I figured it'd be a bit of a, an homage to the area I was living and the cats that are around, and also to uh, you know the influence of growing up with a crazy cat lady mom and a house full of cats. So it's kind of morphed out of that. With this process, after years, I kind of learned that uh, isolate the fact that the drawing was the fun part. So I've, I've taken out the sketchbook, where for years I always had a sketchbook with me, and now these have become the sketchbook. So I, I try not to have a preconceived idea, and even if I do, try to let it go where where it may want to go. And uh, I found in, in my own work, it's it's helped me grow and and create some more. Uh, interesting pieces and bring my work into some different realms. So the process is, even if I have like an idea, I'm going to draw the cat doing this, or I'm going to draw a guy to really kind of just see, see what happens. A couple different reasons. Sanity. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's fun, it's enjoyable. But uh, you know, my grandfather was a painter, and I remember asking him as a kid, I said, well, why do you paint all the time? He said, I, I paint all the time because I have to. And uh, I didn't understand that, but now I really take it to heart. I really get it. You know, it's something that is calming for me. Uh, it's meditative, so it's something that really has uh, helped me in, in many different ways. So when I'm thinking about uh, where to put something on the street, it's more along the lines of, of speed. So 
that's really the most important thing. So hopefully I've already found the spot where I want to go and then for instance with a piece this size I can walk with it for a few minutes so it's really just putting the paste on the back of it and walking by the area where I have a designated spot where I want to put it and slapping it up there and walking away. You're on a ladder here. To me, I mean, it's about it's about the image and uh, having people give people the ability to respond to it or or not or just you know just to, to look at it, which is great, and to be able to share it with you know tons of people, which is pretty awesome.